Okay, this is a quick example of what you might include in your short, short screencastify or other video demo of your exercises for this block. This is a short demo of my exercise one. You certainly don't have to do it the same way I'm doing it, but this is just an idea of what I would expect. In your Google Classroom, you're going to be prompted to set up a Google Doc. And of course, you don't have to have a fancy uh, little you know, image here, nor do you really have to colorize it the same way. But um, this particular theme is a magazine type theme, and I probably should indicate that here. Um, So it, the theme is a magazine style, and this one I'm using Smartline Light. My name's here, and my date's there, and here's a screenshot of my original um, website before I started changing so that I can see that. Um, my original theme was Magazine Basic, and here's my new theme, Smartline Light, and um, I could certainly add a, a screen capture there, but then I'm going to add a link to this particular video. So. Um, obviously, you're going to just explain those things very quickly, and here you're going to demo your little site. And in my demo, I'm going to say something like, I've created my sandbox with a magazine style theme, and the pieces that I've put here in the main slider are the things that I think are the most important things that I want my audience to see. Scrolling down a little bit, over on the right-hand side, I added a custom menu so that my students would have the tools that they would frequently need available to them. I've added a custom video that I think will be helpful for this particular lesson or activity. And over on the right hand side, I have added some examples of how to do um, this particular theme in terms of a small grid. Um, if I were doing this as a real site for my classroom, obviously I would have perhaps resources of of either uh, worksheets that perhaps they've had to use in the past or perhaps um, in this particular case I've got kind of a literary kind of corner going on over here. Over here in the body of the area once again this larger portion here is the most important part for me but then I've got two columns set up here because I think these two pieces are uh, very important and this is my MSCT work and then down below here I have set up the rest of the page to display the grid and this is showing the rest of my content and even though some of them repeat and that's because this is a particular category up here and this down here is just basically everything you can find in my site that's okay and I probably would use this particular site for my students who um, can handle a larger or more visually intense um, environment for my students who perhaps if I have a classroom full of students who perhaps can't handle um, something as intensely visual as this I might end up going back to a regular straightforward sandbox and that is my summary of my exercise one thanks for watching